You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Hello, YouTube. This is Luke V2 Lightsaber. I'm here with my own V2 Lightsaber, but mainly I'm here to unbox a certain saber. As from the title, you can see it is a Lukianoff creepy uncle. Uh, basically, the Luke Skywalker lightsaber from The Last Jedi. Not necessarily my favorite movie, but it probably is one of the best looking um, Luke Skywalker hero lightsaber. So, yeah, let's see what's let's see what we got here. Um, I've just taken off the label and I just pre-cut a little bit right here, but still have a little bit of cutting to do. Okay, here we go. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to be packaged, but uh, not necessarily my first, you know, thought, but it, at least it is very well packaged. It was very well taped and everything, so can't complain about that. Obviously, this is our main specimen in question right here now looks like we have a little bit of extra stuff okay interesting get this cleaned up just a little bit I don't think I missed anything okay we'll put that aside Move this up a little bit, just for the nice background aesthetic. And take a look what we see in here. Looks like a, a clamp card. Sorry, got some OCD. <laughs> uh, let's see. Clamp card, buttons, tri ring. Maybe a blade plug, I'm assuming. It's pretty cool. I won't really get into this too much. Maybe just take a look at the clamp card itself. Hmm. Some sort of uh, board or something. Interesting. Oh, it's for the LEDs. Okay. And which are here. One red and one green. Uh, let's see, here's our clamp card. That's really what I wanted to take a look at. Very nice. Let's see how it compares to this one. Uh, it's fairly similar, not quite the same. This one reminds me more of like the Yuma maybe. Uh, this one is a Parks though. That's the one I painted myself to the not the best degree, but I like it. I like how I did it. It feels very personal, which is nice. But anyway, we'll put that back. And then we'll put this back in the bag. Let's let's see what this is about. Oh no, this isn't this is I know what this is. This is your heat sink, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay second I was thinking blade plug but no definitely heat sink all right pretty neat stuff might want to leave that out just in case oh I can already I can already see it getting through there there we go I couldn't get it in the frame there already looks pretty sick so I got this from KR Sabers but of course it's a Lukianov I think they've been working together for uh, 
a decent amount of time now. He also helped with the, um, with the array run, I think, and maybe some other stuff too, but here we go, breaking that one off. I didn't want to really cut it, scratch it. And there we are, wow. That's sick. That's actually probably nicer than I even imagined. It's just so clean, elegant, sleek, however you want to say. Hmm. And I love that gold. It's like the best part, in my opinion. It's a pity I don't really have any good lighting, but uh, and I do, and I like what I like about this one specifically, the episode eight version, is the the larger neck part of it here. Like I like it's like a slightly thicker or longer, you would say. But yeah, it's a really nice looking hilt right here. Now, I'm not sure. I don't know if you just can stick this in straight up. I might have to do some sanding. Probably, but let's try it out anyway. There we go. I think you have yourself a... Return of the Jedi hilt. <laughs> or should I say Last Jedi? I think no matter what this design, I will still think of Return of the Jedi, but this particular iteration, of course, is the creepy uncle, aka Luke, in episode 8. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the video. I just wanted to show things off, show how it you know, me unboxing it. Uh, here, what I will do to end the video, set it up right like this, and then it right in the background. And thank you very much for watching, and take care, YouTube. And there is the cat that was trying to ruin my shot. Thanks, Midnight. <laughs>